Hello, welcome to GOT, good old tech. Has anyone out there ever used a backup system? You know, these backup systems can save your life, you know, with saving your files, and they can also ruin you if you're not prepared. And we're gonna cover that, especially concerning the Drobo. I've been using the Drobo redundant backup system for several years now, probably 10, 11 years. And I've upgraded the system a couple times. And this is the most recent one that I got. It's a Drobo 5N. And I've been using a Drobo 5N probably a good five, six years now. Never had any issues until now. Suddenly, it stopped functioning. As you can see here on the box, you want all the, these lights green down here. You've got blue lights and a green light down here. These blue lights indicate how many disks you have or actually how much data is filled. These green lights show you how many disks you have in place. You can have up to five to store your data. And the amount of data, it just all depends on you. I have different disks in mine. And at the time, I had over 10 terabytes of data stored. Photos, pictures, videos, personal data, when the system shut down on me. Now, the bad thing about it is it stopped working and I tried to contact Drobo, and I didn't realize that Drobo is now out of business. So this is a shocker to you. I'm sorry. I didn't prepare either. Drobo shut down as of January this last year, or this year, and they're no longer available. You can go to their site and go FAQs to try to figure things out, but other than that, there's no support. So I had to figure things out on my own, and I'm going to walk you through the story of what I had to do and how I finally got my data back. Now, if you're a Drobo user or any kind of backup NAS system user where it automatically backs up your data and has a redundant drive system to where if one of the drives goes bad, you could just pull it out, pop in a new one, and the other remaining drives will rebuild it. Well, that's the way the Drobo worked for me. And over the years, I've had, I don't know, four or five drives go bad. And when these things go bad, you just pop it out and replace it and typically what I would do is I would replace it and get a larger size um, drive to increase my storage and I got to the point where now I have 16 terabytes of disks drives in the system and I so far have over 10 terabytes of data saved or at least I thought it was saved so now I'm going to try to recreate or at least explain to you what happened and then what I had to do to fix it so to begin with, one day just checked on my data, tried to get some data off the Drobo and it wasn't working. Checked on the Drobo and all these lights were out. The top one was red and the bottom one down here, the power button was green, showing that it's on. And that indicates that it's on. And But the red light, and so I looked it up. On the Drobo, on the inside, you have these readings here that tell you what all the different lights mean. And unfortunately, None of them actually told me what was going on with mine. You know, if, it, if there's no drive in there, then green means everything's working well. So you, you want it all green all the time. Of course, you don't have to have a full of five discs, but I did. And when I saw that, I got worried. So I did the typical things where I reboot the Drobo. Nothing. Got the same thing. So I started watching videos, and there's a whole, not a whole lot of help on what to do with that specific scenario. So what I did was I first took out all the CD, all the, all the CDs, took out all the disks and um, rebooted the system. And then I did what's called a hard reset. There's a button on the back here, just below the power button here. And you have to stick a, a fine small device. I use the SIM removal tool, just goes right in there. And you hold the button down, you can feel it click, and you got to hold it down while you power it up and hold it and watch this thing go through its cycle. And when it hits to a certain point, you can let go. So I did all that, and everything followed suit, and it looked like it was going to read the, the, the drives and everything. And so then, boom, it stopped and did the same thing red light up top, green light on the bottom. Same thing. I could not access it, couldn't get the data. My computers couldn't see it. So then I took and I hooked it up directly to my PC, because I had it on the network, just plugged into the router, and uh, so I went straight to my PC, 
still could not find it, still no change. So now I really began to panic because there's been years and years of photos on there with my children and I hate to lose all that stuff. So from my research, what I found basically was if you had that red, single red light and nothing was working, the Drobo needed to be sent in for repair or it was dead. Since there was no service available, I went ahead and looked online, went through eBay to try to find some, and I ended up buying two at two different times. I first bought one and um, it said, it was this one right here. It said, open box, new, never used. So I bought it, I paid quite a bit for it. I think I paid over 400, about 450 for it. Had it delivered, turned it on, dead on arrival. All that would happen was the fan would kick on. It would never power on. Couldn't get it to connect or nothing. Fortunately, the uh, seller went ahead and reimbursed me. Because uh, you can see on the box, I don't know if you can tell in the video, it's water damaged. You don't know what you're going to get before you order but this box is water damaged so i don't know if the drobo was hurt that way or what but it didn't do me any good so this drobo was out so i ordered a second one I bought a second one from someone else said it was used but worked fine didn't come with a power cord no problem got a little bit of a discount on it bought it got here hooked it all up would not connect to the network no matter what i did i could not get it to connect to the network Tried my PC, tried a laptop, hooking it up direct. Could not access that Drobo. I'm going to move this box out of the way. So then I went ahead and hooked, took my old one, put it back together, and decided, because I hadn't tried this yet, I hooked it up to my laptop. Okay. I took out all my drives, put in a couple of old drives, and thought, okay, I'm going to start brand new. So I did a hard reset, plugged it in, put in the two drives, and all it would do was it would turn on, but at least the laptop saw it with the software and showed me the same thing. Red up top, green on the bottom. And it said it could not um, do any troubleshooting. All it could do is a reset. So I thought, hmm, I could do a reset through the software, which I've never done. And, but it did say that it would <laughs> erase the drives. So I went ahead and did that and I let it erase the drives because they were old drives that I didn't really have anything on that I needed. So I went through it, it restarted, booted back up, connected to the PC. And then it said that I needed to install the original disk because it didn't have enough disk in it. It says disk have been removed, which I thought odd because I re factory reset it. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. This was very, very scary, but I had no other option at this point because if you know, on a Drobo, if it goes bad, the only way you can retrieve your data is with another Drobo or have the company do it for you, which they didn't exist. So at that point, I was desperate and I didn't know what to do. So I thought, well, I can't retrieve the data, so if it if I lose it all, it erases it. Oh well, because I did order a different type of system that I'll talk about when it gets here. So I went ahead and turned it off, disconnected, put my original five drives back in, booted it up, it came on, recognized all the drives, everything came back online, just as if as if it never failed. Got all my data data back and then immediately started transferring it to another device to another hard drive because i can't trust drobo you can't trust drobo so if you're hearing this for the first time you need to migrate to something else because this is no longer supported and if your drobo goes bad all your data on it is lost you cannot retrieve your data any other way except with a drobo so what you need to do is now's the time to migrate to a different system because you don't want to experience the scare and the fear that I did. Now, if you are experiencing that, you can try some of the things I did and please feel free to leave comments, ask questions. I'd be happy to talk about my experience even more in detail and maybe help you go through any issue that you might be going through. 
So I hope you found this video useful. I hope I've been able to help you or at least make you aware that you need to go with another system. If I've been able to help you out, please leave a comment. Let me know down below and make sure to like this video and subscribe for future content because I did order a Synology system, which is a NAS system. I'm trying to learn about it. I'm studying up on it as quickly as I can, but I'll go through the steps with you as I venture on to a new system. Thank you for hanging on to the end here with me. And if you've never looked into a backup system, you've got to try it. Thanks again. Until next time, God bless.